update on the moped. Uh, I have done a lot. I'm not really sure what I've shown or what I haven't shown. So I'll just show you what I'm at to right now. I should probably record every time I work on things, but I haven't. So this is what I have so far with the, the bike. Okay, so new handlebars, um, mirrors, have the new Speedo in. Not sure if I showed that at all. Uh, pipe. So I dented this in. I just painted it with some heat paint so it didn't look bad with the flaking. Um, the carburetor has been adjusted. Everything should be working good on that. New plugs. Um, the thing is, is it's not revving as high as I want it to be revving. And I have a feeling that has something to do with the timing. So I'm gonna take the, the cover off and work on the timing. Um, so that's the next step on what I'm going to do. Uh, hopefully that fixes the issue. So I'm going to pull the timing cover off, uh, find top dead center, and adjust the gaps on the points. Um, and just make sure everything is good on that. So I'll just time lapse that whole thing uh, and then go from there. So in order to find top dead center on this, I need to make a piston stop. Well, I don't have a piston stop, but I do have a 2002 spark plug that has longer threads. And I uh, pretty much hacked away of all the porcelain that was inside of this, so it has air could pass through it. And I added this screw here so I can adjust it. So I turned this into a piston stop. This is gonna allow me to find the top dead center of the, where the piston is, so I'll be able to adjust the points and everything a lot easier that way. So that's what I'm gonna do with here. Put this in, and then, let's see, screw it in. I don't have to go too far. Not enough, a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. There it is. So right there is top dead center. Right there and I flip it around and I can use this mark here to a place where the exact top dead center is on this flywheel. So that's what I'm gonna be doing next and then I'll be adjusting everything inside here. So here I've marked where the top dead center is and I found where the points start to open um, by, that is seven eighths of a difference there. Um, that means, if you put that in metric, is 22 millimeters and this is 360 millimeters wide. So that's telling me that that is um, more, I think, I think it should have been 17 millimeters, but now it's 22 millimeters. So I'm not saying that it's um, advanced a little too much. Um, but then again, I need to look up what 70 cc should be at, because I don't know if I actually looked into that yet. I know stock, it's supposed to be 17 degrees, 16, 17 degrees. Um, so I'm gonna look that up and see how, uh, how far off I am whenever it's at 70 cc's. Um, maybe I should retard it, maybe, um, I'm not sure. Uh, probably should retard it if I want to get to the stock size, stock. But um, I want to see what people have been running with the 70 cc's.
So the more I look into this, someone has definitely been in here before. First of all, where you set the points, that uh, screw is like completely stripped. It was a pain in the butt, but I got it to tighten. So um, if I pull the whole flyer wheel, I can replace it. But you can see that I had to readjust the magnets because they are rubbing against, or readjust the, uh, I, can't, I can't remember what they're called, but it's rubbing against the magnets and it was making a scratching noise. So I readjusted those and it looks like there's also, oh, I can't see, looks like there's a screw missing right there. And this was definitely tampered with. It was also, you know, I guess five degrees off. So I just set it back to 17 degrees um, for, for top dead center, uh, from top dead center. So that's retarded the timing. Maybe that will run it a little bit cooler. Maybe that could be the issue. It was running too hot. Um, not really sure. So I'm going to put everything back together and see how it runs on this. Okay, so it got it running, and it's running better than it was. Uh, so timing definitely had an issue with it, but it's it's kind of weird. Like uh, it might be a muffler thing to me, but whenever I go to start off, it it, it doesn't have enough power to push off. Uh, but as soon as I start moving, it 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 goes. So I'm gonna guess that the muffler that's on here, the exhaust that's on here, is. I don't know, I thought this would have been better in the lower range instead of the higher range, but it feels like it's better in the higher range than the lower range. It's almost like the turbo um, exhaust that I have on mine was better on the higher range and not the lower range, but in this case, it feels the complete opposite. Um, I'm gonna pull the plug and check to see how we're running on it. Let's see if we're running rich or I mean, temperature-wise, it seems pretty good, but like coming out of the exhaust, how hot it's running, but it's still not running like right. I don't know what's going on with it. Uh, yeah, it definitely looks like it's running a little lean. It seems to be running around 45 miles per hour, which is good. Uh Well, it's complete. Um, it's ready to go for now. The lockdown kind of screwed up some of my plans, uh, but this is what I've done. I did a higher mile per hour speedo. Uh, I had to build a, an adapter out of a 3D printed ring. Um, painted the whole front end. I cleaned up the wheels. The wheels still kind of suck. It would be great if we could find some mag wheels for it. New grips, new handlebars, some mirrors for the side since he's gonna be doing a lot of actual street driving it. A 70cc conversion from a 50, a bigger carburetor. I made a template for out of the, out of, made a template out. I made a template uh, with the Glowforge and made this uh, sticker. He does a lot of uh, punk rock uh, type music he's in that industry so there's a bunch of these posters that I cut up and made that like that um, this is also his company's here which is blocking off the airbox mount and it's also helping the uh, brake cable from not getting into the chain uh, upgraded exhaust some suspension uh, modified seat and uh, one thing I wanted to do was build a cover with a 3d printer for this so it's not just hanging here, which I'm still gonna do. I'll probably do that and then send it to him if he picks it up. But again, you have to wait for the lockdown. There's the other side with the sticker. It's completely different than that one side. And uh, it hasn't ran in two weeks, so let's see if I can kickstart it. As you can see, it's completely cold. So here we go. 
make sure it's on. I actually feel like this is more reliable than my current moped. <laughs> 